European sea bass is an iconic species for recreational fishing, with an estimated 2 million people fishing for bass recreationally using rod and line across Europe. Recreational anglers are estimated to spend well in excess of 400 million euros a year fishing for sea bass. This money is spent supporting thousands of businesses and tens of thousands of jobs across Europe's leisure and tourism industries. Anglers are motivated by catching large fish. Many bass are caught for sport, but many are also caught to be eaten. A growing culture of conservation amongst anglers now means many bass caught by anglers are released alive back into the sea. The European bass is slow growing. A female will only reach spawning age at six to seven years. They're long lived, living up to 25 years. Bass are migratory, site specific, and have been recorded returning to inhabit the same specific inshore locations year after year. This life cycle and behavior make bass fragile to commercial exploitation. Bass were almost exclusively targeted by recreational anglers in the 1970s. Today, over three quarters of all bass landed are from commercial fishing at much higher levels of exploitation. Bass numbers have now reached critically low levels due to uncontrolled increase in commercial fishing effort, unfavorable environmental conditions, juvenile fish being killed before being able to reproduce, and the targeting of vulnerable spawning aggregations of bass. EU conservation measures were implemented in 2016. However, the projected landings are still three times higher than the scientists have advised, meaning there's now a threat to the ability of the stock to regenerate itself in the future. This has resulted in scientists advising zero catches of bass in 2017. It's clear a long-term management plan is urgently needed, but what should the objectives of such a plan be? The current system is exclusively focused on satisfying the demands of commercial fisheries, where stocks are managed by the total allowable catch. But there is an alternative. Article 17 of the Common Fisheries Policy allows for fishing opportunities to be allocated based on economic, environmental and social criteria. How would recreational angling score on these criteria compared to the current system of commercial exploitation. In 2014, an independent study in England compared recreational angling against commercial fishing. It estimated, per ton of bass removed, recreational bass angling created an economic output of up to three million pounds and 34 full-time equivalent jobs. In contrast, commercial fishing generated an output of just 40,000 pounds and supported less than one full-time equivalent job. This means, per tonne of bass removed, the economic output of recreational bass fishing was estimated to be at least 40 times higher than commercial fisheries, and the employment outputs of recreational fisheries at least 39 times higher than commercial fisheries. However, so far, despite the clear benefits, the CFP has failed to capitalise on this by including any specific management objectives for recreational fisheries. What would the benefits be if it did? The bass stock would benefit by being allowed to recover and grow in size and structure. In the long term, this would benefit the environment, commercial and recreational fisheries. Economic growth and employment opportunities would be achieved in many deprived coastal communities. The social well-being and heritage benefits of many millions of EU citizens would be enhanced. This has already been achieved elsewhere in the world, such as in Ireland, where the Irish recreational bass fishery is estimated to be worth 52 million euros, and in the USA, where the striped bass recreational fishery is estimated to be worth over six and a half billion dollars, supporting over 63,000 jobs. Given the overwhelming benefits of recreational bass fishing, isn't it time specific management objectives to support and develop it were included in the future management of European bass stocks?